Hi, this is Karen with the Kind Garden Stuff. Today I wanted to show you uh, some differences between um, a couple of different types of casting. This is from Red Worms, Red Wigglers, uh, from my hungry bin that I harvested a couple weeks ago. It was very muddy and I wanted to um, air it out for a couple weeks and um, so it'd be dry enough to sift and it is it is dry enough to sift now but I wanted to show you that it's broken down quite well I've already taken out the majority of worms that were stuck there in the castings um, but uh, see how fine it is. Now, this is from Blue Worms and their cast is different. I think it's mainly because of the way that they move, but most of their casting is in little balls. Even though they're thinner um, than red worms, it's, I think it's the way they move, I'm not quite sure, but uh, why their cast would be more in like little balls. <laughs> so they're harder to break down by hand, harder to sift through. Um, I'm thinking of giving away, not giving away, but selling all my blue worms um, because I've got a lot of other worms that I want to take care of. So if you know anybody in the Las Vegas area who's interested in buying some blue worms, I've got quite a bit um, for sale. But anyway, the, the casting moisture is much the same. It's just that it's more pelletized, larger pellets, and um, makes it more difficult to sift through. So in case you do have blue worms already, and um, your casting isn't looking like the wonderful um, ones that's sold in stores, that's more broken down, that's more, to me, more friable, um, then that's why. It's just a type of worm. It's not that your casting is worse or anything. You just have to uh, understand that um, and, and uh, maybe not break it down, not have to break it down so much before you put it in your garden or before you sift it down. So that's the main reason for this video, just to show you the differences between the two different ways you can use this. Uh, you can use this, oh, if you're making worm tea, very simple to use. You can use it just any, any worm casting. You can just use it straight on your... Um, on your garden but the main thing I wanted to bring out is that this is more difficult to sift out into smaller pieces and to sift out their eggs because these pieces are larger.
Okay, well, that's it for this time, and thank you for coming on this journey with me.